Well, you gotta love technology, right? This is the new Cartier Declaration of Fresh. And uh, you can tell it's unboxed, it's opened, I've sprayed it already. I recorded a first impressions, and that video file got corrupt. <laughs> got it done, feeling great. It's a really good video. Put it on my computer, and yeah, it, it's toast. There's nothing there. So this is going to be a second impression, okay? Uh, we've already opened it up. We've taken a look at the box, which there isn't much to see. Let's just take a nice long look at the bottle here, okay? Looks really nice. Cartier on the side, Declaration underneath of it. These bottles are very classy, very nice looking. Uh, my favorite feature, it's a little safety feature right there. Prevents this from being pushed down when you are traveling, I suppose, um, because I don't think that would normally get pushed down when it's sitting on your shelf. Uh, really, really sleek looking. You'll notice uh, the coloration is coming from the juice, the fragrance itself, not the bottle. Bottle is just clear. Um, well, maybe there is a slight tint to it, actually. I'm not sure. Anyway, very nice looking here. That just happened too. Cool. Let's just get this over with. I'm done already. <laughs> Let's go ahead and spray it on for the second time and we'll see what it's all about. So here we go. Nice atomizer on this. Wow, that's new. So this one opens up with a whole bunch of citrus. A rindy, sour, tart, and slightly sweet bergamot lemon combination here. Now I'll go ahead and get this out of the way. Uh, the note breakdown, there's only three notes, so they're kind of following that trend as well. And it's very in-depth, okay? We've got citrus leaf, cardamom, and cedar, okay? So yeah, not a whole lot going on there in terms of notes. Citrus leaf, who knows what that could be. But I can tell you it is very bright, very fresh. It opens up super strong here with all of that citrus going on. Another thing you'll find with this one here is that it has this nice classiness to it. So it's not a playful, fun, summer citrus fragrance. It's quite the opposite. It has this nice, mature, grown-up smell about it. So I'm going to throw out a few fragrances that this one may be in a similar ballpark to. Now keep in mind, I'm not saying that this smells exactly like them, more so that it just fits within that category. It kind of has a similar personality. I've got three of them in mind. And the first one that I thought of when I smelled this was John Varvatos Artisan Pure. So that one there has a bunch of clementine, orange, all of that stuff up top. But also it has this kind of a petty grain, crushed up neroli, herbaceousness about it that is prominent right when you first spray it on and that gives it a nice classiness as well and I find this one has a similar thing here just just super upscale smelling and I feel like that can be somewhat hard to pull off when your primary uh, focus is citrus another one that I was thinking of was Givenchy Gentleman Cologne that one also kind of uses this petty green neroli type of smell, opens up very bright, very vibrant, and that one also has this nice refined quality to it, you know, something that does make it stand out amongst all of the other fresher fragrances out there. And then another one, something like Dior Homme Cologne, right? It just kind of fits into that type of category here. So when you first spray it on, the citrus is taking over the majority of the scent here. As it starts to dry down, some sweetness starts to come into play. Now some of that I suppose could be coming from the cardamom. It really doesn't show up all that much to me. It's definitely not giving off like a super spicy oriental smell. Maybe it's aiding in some of the sweetness. Primarily it's kind of a nice general muskiness. Some of the woods are coming through and it's kind of giving it a powdery base. So the citrus is still the main player here. It's still at the forefront, but some other stuff is working its way in underneath, kind of giving it some more depth here. You're getting a good amount of the cedar wood, more so as it dries down. That's not prominent when you first spray it on. Essentially, that's just giving it a nice woody depth as well. So this is one of those fragrances that's really for the true hardcore citrus lovers. If you're someone that's coming from, let's say, you know, tobacco fragrances or rum, boozy, sweet fragrances, that's kind of your forte, and you move over to something like this, you may be taken off guard because of how strong and citric it is. 
So it's definitely not, you know, a, a fresh citrus fragrance like Nautica Voyage, for example, something that is very entry level. It's a great fragrance, but it is more, I guess, mass pleasing. This one, it doesn't hold back at all. I mean, as soon as you hit the trigger on this one, it is a strong, tart, sour blast of citrus, and it may not be for everybody. So like I mentioned, for hardcore citrus lovers out there, if you want something that is, you know, a spring and summer fragrance with a nice bit of maturity to it, check this one out. If you're into the playful stuff, this is not that. So this one is an Eau de Toilette fragrance here. And so I would expect performance to be just, you know, average five hours, six hours longevity is where I'm expecting it to be uh, that has yet to be tested. Um, but you know, we'll have to get there. I think, uh, if we could get into that range, it would be nice. Uh, projection also is something that's up in the air. Um, given the short amount of time I had it on my skin there, it was relatively close to the skin. Again, with something like this, it will shine in the heat, right? This fragrance at the end of the day is made for warmer weather. So once you get it outside and the sun is beating down on it, there's heat in the air, that'll make this one really project and it'll come to life. And that's also why I'm going to wait and do my full review, probably it'll be closer to summer by then, because I want to get heat on this. A lot of times with summer fragrances, they can smell quite a bit different if you buy it in the winter time and wear it in your house when it's you know average temperature and outside when it's cold, and you get that thing out in summer when it's 80, 90 degrees, it changes it a lot. So I wanna make sure I give this one a chance to wear in the climate that it's you know really intended for. So we're not going to be looking at this as a, you know, a potential performance beast. This is going to be something for the refined, classy gentleman who wants to be taken seriously while wearing a citrus fragrance. Again, like I was saying, if you go with a Nautica Voyage, um, you know, something along those lines, more entry level, just, just your citrus fragrances, even like a light blue, something like that. Those are more casual. Those could be perceived as more playful. This one, while it is still light and isn't too complex, it has that nice richness to it that I really do admire. And for me, it's always refreshing to see. There are tons and tons of playful summer fragrances out there, and there are also a good amount of more refined ones, but it's severely outnumbered. So every time we get kind of a, a little bit of a different approach on a summertime citrus fresh fragrance, I am excited for it. The longer it stays on your skin, the more it will slightly sweeten up and get a touch of a powdery nature to it. But that citrus freshness is still going to be at the forefront. It's uh, aromatic, it's herbaceous, it's a little bit woody, it's very, very refreshing, again, with that nice uh, masculine kind of modern twist. So again, if you're someone that's into John Vervedo's Artisan Pure and, and just those photorealistic, aromatic, herbaceous, uh, you know, strong citrus fragrances, I would encourage you to give this one a shot. Now, when it comes to waiting for it to hit discounters, that's gonna be up to you. I will say this, uh, Cartier's typically aren't discounted that heavily. If you take a look at Declaration Parfum, that's still gonna be up over $100 on discounters. You are saving money, but it's not gonna be a, a huge amount. Of course, savings is better than nothing. So given that we are in the time of the year where, at least for me and for a lot of people watching this, it's going to be cold outside or at least colder, um, you really probably don't need to rush out and buy it at retail right now. But we're also not guaranteed that it will be at discounters when spring comes around. We are only a few months away from spring and a few extra months away from summer. Who knows if it's going to be at discounters? But I do think that you could probably get away with just waiting it out unless you want to wear it right now in the wintertime or maybe it's warm. Maybe you are lucky enough to live in Florida or, or California uh, or something where it's nice and warm right now where you can wear it. But for me, it's something that I wouldn't get a lot of use out of. If it's cold where you are, you could just hold off. If you've tried this new one, let me know what you think of it down below. Uh, nice stuff, very pleasant. Not a mind blower, nothing crazy, but refined and you know a bit refreshing. I will also link uh, Declaration Parfum down below to discounters. Also, the fragrance net 35% off link will be down there as well. That link is in all of my videos. Clicking that will automatically apply the current best discount, so that way you can be confident that you're saving the most amount of money. The codes change all the time, but that link is the only surefire way to automatically have it applied.
And also by clicking that link, it'll apply the best discount, even if the 37% off code is back and active, it'll apply that instead of the 35. So if they were to change that around, that link is always going to give you the maximum deal that they have. Alrighty, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.